The premise is simple. I think people go way too crazy with optics. If you want to use optics, here is 90% of what you need. Lenses and traversals, how to compose them, how to create them, and use these four operators. View, set, over, and to list off. Or they are alternatives in other languages. More on that later. And that's it. Less than 10 functions and you get a colossal toolbox and a productivity boost. The core knowledge is fundamental. It goes beyond libraries and languages. We have to start with the boring parts. The first step is to pick and install the library. I'll go with PureScript and Perfunctor Landless because it's less noisy and nicer for demos. But the basic ideas apply to other languages, for example, Haskell and Scala. Then we have to prepare the data. Imagine that we are working on some bar order service. We can start with a simple order and a highball type. Highball is a simple long drink with one liquor and one mixer. Let's just start with Two options, scotch and gin, two options of mixer, soda and tonic. And a couple of instances to show or see what we are doing later. This part has nothing to do with lenses. I just want to be able to show you the result of different operations inside REPL. A lens deconstruct product types such as records and tuples. A lens must always focus on the value. In other words, this part or value should always exist. So in our case, we can create a lens that focuses on the drink field of an order, or we can create lenses that focus on liquor, mixer, or ounces fields of highball. So let's try a couple of those. Disclaimer for Java boilerplate flashbacks. This is the only boilerplate we have to write. So drink lens is a lens from order, which is a whole, to highball, which is a part. We create it by using a function prop and pass it the name of the field drink using a proxy. We have to do it because it's a type level information. If we press a wrong non-existing field like drunk, we get a compile time error. We can already use this, but they're quite boring. They should be more exciting and complex. Optics are most useful for nested data structures. One of the most remarkable things about optics is composition. For instance, we can compose two lenses to get a bigger or larger lens. Let's compose a drink lens and a liquor lens to get a lens from order to liquor. And this is the composition operator in PureScript. And note that we don't have to declare the intermediate optics. For example, if we create a different lens for ordered ounces. This depends on your style or preferences. And finally, we can see some lenses in action. We can use lenses to get, set, and modify values within a structure when we know that the value exists. Imagine we have an order. Let's try to use it. We can use the lens from order to liquor to get the values using the view function, which gives us scotch. We can use the same lens to set the values using the set function. For example, we can switch to gin. Or we can use the lens to modify the value using the over function. For example, to bump the drink size. In this case, we use the other lens. We can see that ounces went from 10 to 11, which might remind you of using something like a map function. And note that Lenses are not limited to the same type. We can use type changing lenses and operations, but we'll keep it simple for now. Quick recap. A lens focuses on one part of the structure, such as a field of a record. We can compose two lenses together to get another lens. We can use the props functions to create a lens using the Profunctor Lenses library in PureScript. We can use view to get, set to set, and over to modify values using a lens. Let's modify the order type to allow multiple drinks instead of just one. We can rename the field and add an array type. The code does not compile anymore. We have to fix our data and our types. Let's modify the order by adding another drink. The drink lens is invalid because the field's name and type have changed. We have to patch it. We have to add array to the type and change the field name. The compiler is still unhappy. It points to the ordered liquor lens. The issue here is that it says that it could not match the type record with the type array. Because if we look back, the drink lens goes from order to array highball, and the liquor lens goes from a single highball to a liquor. So now we have some sort of a gap or a mismatch between types, between array of highballs 
and a high ball. We can't use a lens here because lens should always focus on the value, but arrays can have many or even zero values or elements. Here's where traversals comes in. A traversal focuses on multiple values within a structure or a collection. To fix this code, we must add a traversal to the composition and change the type from lens to a traversal. Composing a lens with a traversal or two traversals makes a traversal. The traverse function creates a traversal. We can extract it to make this explicit and clear. Which is more verbose, but it can be nice for learning and figuring out the types. And the same with the other optic. We can use a traversal to modify all values something like a map or a traverse, and we can also get all values. We can also combine all the values into one, something like a fault, but this is not crucial for now. We can use a traversal from order to liquor to modify all values using the over function, like we did with the lens. For example, to bump all the drink sizes in the order, we don't even have to change the code. Now all the ounces were bumped from 10 to 11. We can also use traversal to get all the values using to list off or to array off depending on the types that we need. So quick recap. A traversal focuses on zero, one, or many values within a structure or a collection. We can compose lenses and traversals to get traversals, and we can use traverse functions to create or get traversals for free. We can use over to modify all values and to list to get all values using a traversal. And that's it. If you want to use optics, here's 90% of what you need to know. First, lenses and traversals, how to compose them, which depends on the language and the library you use, but they are quite similar. How to create them, lens creation is the most varied part of optics, which also depends on the language and the library. Sometimes there are options to get them for free, sometimes there is an option to write lenses by hand. Most of the libraries give you free traversal with something like Traverse or from Traverse in case of Scala's Monocle. And last but not least, you need to know four functions. Get values with view or get using a lens, set values with set or replace using a lens, modify values with over or modify using a lens or a traversal, and get all values with to list off or get all using a traversal. If you read any of the optics tutorials before, you might be wondering, what about prisms and other optics? Don't waste your time when getting started. You can pick this up later if you need to. Check out the description for the links to recaps, cheat sheets and references. And tune in next time when I try to cover the other 90%.